and they've switched colors on me, of course. Oh. And oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Uh. Oh. Well, let's introduce oh. this player real quick. Okay. Uh, spike. Some sort of lag spike there. We do have Liquid Hero spawning as our blue protest over here at the 9 o'clock position of... Have uh, fun, Spike. <laughs> of ESV Sandshorn Myths. Hero's new nickname is Spike, apparently. Spike? Apparently yep. it's his pet dog. Evidently. Liquid Spike. Spike. Have fun. Uh, over at the 9 o'clock position, we have our Red Terran player from Team Mouse Sports. That is Thorzane. Thorzane picking this uh, this map. A little bit of his work cut out for him now as he is down a game and going into game number six. Yeah, I wonder if Hero is actually considering doing a little bit of cheese there. I mean, it's not a bad map for it. The main is so gigantic on this. You can hide barracks, in a, or not barracks, you can hide gateways in a lot of places. You can even take them down and hide them on that little ledge there, too. That'd be kind of neat. But yeah. Uh, yeah, deciding to change his mind there. He moved the probe out we saw, moved it back a little bit. It's like, no, he's like, I think Thorzane's too good. I, I don't have a guaranteed win with this. So. Yeah, yeah. Thorzane is pretty good at holding off stuff like that. I've seen him do it yes, before. He is. He's good at pretty much everything. Yep. Yes, he is, as a matter of fact. Yes, uh, he is. Very, very versatile, well-rounded player. And yeah. gateway coming up, so no Forge. Don't worry, no Kinetigans, no, no cheese coming up for Hero. Thorzane, on the other hand, is uh, this is about gas time, and he is indeed building a gas, so... Uh, each time he has gone for gas without going for, you know, some sort of one racks gasless FE, he's done a two racks build, and we'll see if that holds up through this game as well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I don't know, you just see how annoying uh, Hero is being with that probe, just going around, we scouting, doing a little bit of damage to the uh, to the SCV. I suppose he wasn't quite as annoying this game as he could be mm -hmm. other games, but... I don't know. That's I, I hate it as a as a person who played mostly Terran. I hate when that happens. But <laughs> as a as a commentator, I'm like, yeah, that's really something you should be doing. You know, anything you can do early on to mess up your opponent. You can see him trying to cause the SCVs to bounce around a little bit more, and not mine as many minerals. Yeah. And is that only one SCV on gas for the? Okay, it did transfer some more over. I was wondering. Just yeah. two for now, though. This right. is actually you know, uh, I'm I'm gonna bring up Brad. Okay, it seems like every time we have. Different gas builds. I, I bring up Braddock because now he's doing a later 15 gas build. But originally, he was doing just a one gas build specifically with two SCVs on it. And it allowed him to hit a perfect uh, two Marauder concussive shell push. And now, we'll see if that... Uh, I, I don't assume that's what Thorsane's going for. But that's the only time I've seen it done intentionally and pulled off really well. You know, if I were Hero right now, I would be pretty suspicious. Because he just saw Maro... Throw that second, not Maro. Just saw uh, Thorzane. I was watching the Maro Maru series a, while, a little while ago again. Gotcha. And it was, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, yeah, he saw Thorzane throw down that second barracks right in front of him. And he saw him getting gas. He's got three on there now. And if I were here, I'd be like, well, you're just going to show me what you're doing? You're just, all right. <laughs> so, and it looks like Thorzane is just legitimately doing that. So, yeah. um, you know, maybe trying to fake Hero out a little bit, but maybe being like, hey, I'm just going to do this, and I don't really think there's much you can do to stop me. Maybe a little bit of mind games, absolutely true. Okay, yeah. we have market differences now, though, as Hero is actually going oh. for a Twilight Council right away. Yeah, He's no already kidding. producing a couple of Stalkers. One is out a second on the way. Not even poking with them this game, though. Well. And then he turns around and starts to poke with them. You know, if Hero has been really attentive this series, too, he'll notice that uh, that uh, Thorzane has not been getting very early engineering base. He's been getting them... Uh, a little bit later than some Terrans would be in a lot of the games today. So I think if he goes DTs right here, that would be a great decision because uh, Maro... Uh, why do I keep saying Maro? What is wrong with me suddenly? <laughs> no. Because, uh, yeah, Thorzane <laughs> hasn't been getting that detection as early. And there's a Dark there Shrine. So, yeah, I think a good uh, decision Hero's making here based on some of the earlier games. Now, yeah, Hero's able to pull this off pretty well, you know, sometimes. I've also seen it bite him. It, uh, notably, Team Arena Challenge it's, 1 yeah. uh, when he came up, uh, you know, against a couple of players there. But, you know, as you were saying, situationally right now, this is pretty smart. And look at that. We already have a factory coming up for Thorzane. So this is reminiscent of his build on Shakura's Plateau. Well, here's the thing, is that any time you attack a race with Dark Templars that can just click a button on their main building and see invisible things, huh. um, you, you're you doing a risky build, right? Uh, you have to kind of find that specific timing to get in there when ideally they don't have any energy. Sometimes it's a little bit luck, sometimes you're rolling the dice a little bit, but I think in this particular case this could work out pretty well. And it's going to be a DT expand from Hero as well, so no sort of all-in or anything like that. 
And Thorzang going to have to pull back at the moment now as uh, Starport's already being constructed on the yeah. tech lab. And we have a tech lab on the factory as well. So yeah. it looks like the same sort of Banshee and uh, tank push that we saw before. There's tank number one. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have just enough resources for Banshee number one uh, when that Starport <laughs> finishes up. <laughs> All yeah. right. Thorzane trying to get Hero to think that he's going for a Marine Marauder when in fact he is completely not. Oh, and a Raven first. What? It's like Whoa. Thorzane is psychic or something, oh. man. Oh, wow. You are, okay, hold on. Let's take a look at his How vision. Oh, did what? Oh, my God. Right. Thorzane, you are so good. Look at this. Thorzane really playing the mind games today. Perfect. The DT is revealed. SEV's pulled off the line. The Raven's coming out already. Man. Oh, boy. Just. That's just insane. I mean, Thorzane just completely called what Hero was doing. I mean, uh, Hero really gave no gigantic indication other than that he had two gas relatively early on. Right. Uh, but, yeah, yep. wow. This is just not going to work. And uh, good cool. luck when this Raven pops up because bye-bye, DT. And that is it. And Thorzane can just push across the map right now uh -huh. at a time when Hero doesn't have a lot of units, too. This is going to be a really, really strong uh, all-in from Thorzane now. Yeah, we'll see how many SUVs he pulls, if any. Looks like none at the oh, moment. Or, there or we most. go. That's <laughs> what I was looking like for. Half, yeah. Now, Thorzane needs to protect that Raven with his life, man. I mean, if he loses that Raven with only one command center to scan, he could be in a bit of a difficult situation sometimes. Most and certainly. Yeah, there's the big push. All right. Well, the Raven is already ahead. The DTC is all, though, and looks like he's going uh -oh. to cycle in behind and That's try and jump idea. in and do some damage. However, there's ah. already some SEVs pre-pulled, and they'll be able to uh, heal that up no problem. Yep. Should be okay here. Oh, that's a lot of stalkers. Thorzane's going to really need to mind his Raven. Yep. And uh, mind your P's and Q's and your Ravens as yep. well. And Hero and backing up to his <laughs> Immortals. And. 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 And then. And. He yep. moves across. Sorry. And uh, Thorzane, though, has that Raven sitting overhead. Uh, no more DTs are morphing in because that Raven's just going to be too much. Has enough for a point defense drone as yeah. well, importantly. Holding off until siege mode is done, which it will be in a couple seconds here. And yep. it looks like he will take out that DT. Yep, yes. there it is. So he's okay. Oh, oh, oh no, don't Raven. lose it. Don't lose that thing, man. Needs oh, to geez. get repaired up. Woohoo! A little bit too close there. Yes. But uh, he does have the SUVs repair, so he's okay. Siege mode finished up as well. This SUV is repairing each other very quickly. Oh. And splash damage already being done to the Stalker. Saving up and being so patient, not needing to put down that point defense drone yet. There it is. And that's the Q for, well, I thought that was going to be the Q for the push, but apparently not. Looks like it forces Hero's hand, though. He's going to make his way up. The point defense drone is now out of energy, so one of the Banshees has gone down. The Immortals haven't taken too much damage quite yet, but a few Stalkers and Sentries have already fallen. Yeah, and uh, Thursday needs to be careful not, as, not to get his Marines a little bit too far forward here. Mm -hmm. Can't outrange the tanks too much. He has to wait till that third tank gets there, and he only has one right now. And but point defense drone is uh, starting to slowly accumulate some more energy. Will be able to take another shot. Hero doing a nice job, though, of firing once just to continue to take down the energy. Whoa, Ooh. Banshee. Getting a little bit far ahead there. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. So Hero's got a couple of uh, sentries in the back as well. Got to make sure that he doesn't uh, get those killed. That those two force shields will actually be pretty critical uh, yep. when the time comes. But these siege tanks are slowly starting to move their way up at the moment. I think we might see another warp into Zealots. Yeah, there they are from Hero. And then he's going to try to push using the Zealots to buffer damage. Here he goes. He does have a lot of units, but will it be enough? I don't know. The another point defense drone has not gone down yet. It looks like actually an auto turret up the back, and it oh, does look like he has done. enough. Crashing through those tanks in style. The immortal still alive and chugging around, even taking out the auto turret there just to say ha ha. Yeah, Hero doing a really good job of being patient with that, basically. And let's see here. It's all Marines that are left now in that army for Thorzay. Not going to be enough. However, a Raven is going to come back, provide a little bit here extra. And uh, Thorzay may be going for round two in a bit, but he's got to watch out for this big push coming out of Hero as well. Yeah, no kidding. A couple of mortals in there, a lot of stalkers. And the DT kind of going to be nullified by the Raven, but... Still, it's a lot of DPS coming in for Liquid Hero in just a moment. Yes, it is. Oh, he's really got to get that tank sieged up here in a bit. And actually choosing to keep it in the higher DPS pop-up mode. But, of course, that means it can't offer any sort of splash. Hero, he actually, uh, a few of the units were kind of trapped by these Marines up here at the front. He does throw down a couple of force fields, however. But the Marines are able to stream oh, right man. on through. Hero getting pushed back at the moment. He hasn't been able to do too much damage going right after that Immortal. As a matter of fact, of course, Banshees have, to, uh, have multiple attacks. And so 
the uh, Immortals are going to get knocked down pretty quickly there. I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised that Hero decided to push here. I mean, this would be the time when you'd want to sit back in macro because you know you're way ahead economically, but decided to try to push. And this may come back to haunt him here because now Thorzane is back with just as strong of a push as he had before. And he also killed an Immortal, too. Yes, he did, and he's got vision of the high ground here, so we'll be able to slowly push these units back. A Zealot's coming to the front, but there's not that many of them, all things considered. So just one Zealot remaining, and then most of that frontline uh, defense is actually taken out. We have another point defense drone overhead, but it looks like all of the energy was taken up. The Banshees are going down pretty quickly. The Raven actually being sent ahead to take a little bit of damage. Smart play there, and Thorsey wow. then heals it back as he runs away. Yeah, big SCV repair party in the front, but not a lot of Marines in there yet anymore. Thorzane, what is he? Oh, he's attacking that one Zealot. All right, I thought he was attacking his own Banshee for a second, but <laughs> gets overly repaired. Yeah, and it looks like there's still a tank with this as well, so Thorzane's got a few units. He's continuing to, well, reinforcing actually pretty slowly, sitting everything out in the middle of the map. Huh. So has yeah, he, he done to get much? those units up there. Yeah, he's not done too much economic damage either, so Hero's still mining at a very good rate. Yep, yep. And uh, Thorzane, I don't know, man. I don't think he can. I don't think he can win this one. Whoa! Yeah, tank gets targeted down. Not going to be repaired in time. Mm. Even with that point defense drone, it's just not going to be enough. Yeah, it looks like the point defense drone finally does fall. Thorzane Raven. running in with the rest of his SEVs now. Surprised he hadn't reinforced anything with an additional banshee there and a couple more marines, maybe, and the tank sieged up. More importantly, I guess. Yeah, but well, uh, he would have been able to find something, maybe. Hero made a risky decision by trying to attack here, but it looks like he had just enough to make it pay off in the end. Although once he loses those zealots, he's going to need to be careful not to lose those stalkers to the marines. Yep. Right. Backing not up now, but though. of course no stim done yet, so. Let's see, he was trying to check for reinforcements there, but nothing's feeding up. And in fact, Thorzine's just losing a lot of stuff and not expanding. Yep. And, oh, is he going to get one of the... <laughs> nope. Yes, oh, he, he does, does get, get the stalker. One. Funny, uh, funny. All right. DT up as well. Do we have another Raven? No, we do not. Yep. Thorzine's expansion, though. No, it's his main. As he's actually moving to the natural expansion. Uh-oh. Oh, and his oh, orbital and commands in the, in the air. air. Oh, that's Oops. no good. Oh, that's depressing. Well, Thorzane is just so far behind right now that I don't think he's going to be winning this one. Right. Um, all Hero needs to do is play careful, macro up a little bit more, just kind of keeping control of the middle map right now. Once Blink finishes, he'll be able to maybe jump in here, finish things off. The Siege Tanks are going to keep Thorzane safe for a little bit longer, I suppose. But yeah, It looks like the uh, Stalkers are trying to run up to the front while these DTs go after the Siege oh, Tanks. Man, look oh, at that. there's a Raven oh. there, though, and it looks like the tank is going to survive. He'll offer a few more points of damage before it finally falls. Has not gone down yet, being repaired up, as a matter of fact. There, it finally does fall. Now we have an Immortal with this as well, and the tanks fell very quickly. Hero does not look like he's going to win right now, but of course he pulls everything off of the line, and, and Thorzane, wow, down to 37 supply. Hey, Hero's winning in a big way, but I almost feel like he's being a little bit too aggressive here. I mean, he's... Not following the uh, when you're ahead, get more ahead mentality, that's for sure. No, not at all. And that immortal, oh, sits at 20 hit points, but is still alive. Repairing up that auto turret, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Why not? You need everything you can get at this point in time. That is true. It's more like the SCV is like cooking a hot dog over a barbecue, though. That, <laughs> yeah, that is yeah, funny. They're like telling stories around the little auto turret campfire. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, man. No. Repairing it, making some hot dogs. All yeah. right, making some s'mores, you know. I like it. Mm, Good stuff. S'mores. That out of turret. Oh, that was oh. worth it. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. All his work is for naught. There's the GG. Hero yep. now up four two.